Hey guys, it's Terrence here, and I'm going to show you how uh, some basic usage of Image Occlusion 2.0 add-on for Anki. And we'll start off by uh, opening up Anki and selecting the profile that I like. Anyways, you will op open up the uh, note editor for Anki just like you normally would if you're going to add a normal card. <laughs> really, Windows shaking the. Uh, and we select uh, image occlusion and then browsing to the file that you have the image file that you have downloaded and would like to edit and create cards from you'll notice the header at the top and the footer at the bottom these are like the this would be a title and we'll create um overlapping cards i'll show you that first And we'll call this header so you can see where it is. And then put it here. Overlapping footer. Okay, this is the tags box, and you can put in whatever tag, just like the actually what you you will notice it is very similar to this the Anki note editor but operates independently from it so when I select the overlapping occlusions here you will see that it doesn't affect anything in the actual Anki note editor so be sure to just to um, look at these and make sure these are all correct for the image that you're editing Rectangle here is what we'll be using to create mass. And the shapes layer here, which is the layer that masks are created on. It comes up properly like this when you first open it. And uh, I just showed you that for in the future, you'll see how you can do other things with this. This is SVG edit, and you get all the goodies that come with SVG edit here. So once I have the image in here that I want to use, I simply drag rectangles over the labels. For each one of these rectangles that I create independently, we'll create a, we'll generate a card. So you'll notice this is much faster than typing in, in all of the, all of these things. I mean, I really can't explain how much time you save by doing this. It's so much time, in fact, that I you got to be careful not to make too many cards. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be stuck memorizing an ungodly amount of information. But just, you know, I'll just make large ones here just so you can see. Okay, so then what we do is select, as you can see, these two rectangles are overlapping. It will show all of the text, except for one will be blocked out, that you will, and you'll have to answer one. It will show all the labels, excuse me. So these are overlapping. Don't recommend using this. Recommend using non-overlapping, but I'm going to show you this one first and just show you what it looks like. So here it are overlapping. I'm minimizing that so I don't have to open it up again. And... Uh, here are the image occlusions that are overlapping. Header here, footer here, mask here, red, which is the default color of the image occlusion mask. And since it's not, since it's overlapping, you can see that all the labels are shown. Answer, question, red box, answer underneath it. I don't like this because you can see I'm seeing all of the all the labels before, uh, right before I have to mask the question. So it doesn't really help you in learning it, and it defeats the purpose of, of Anki, which is to separate out uh, known knowledge from unknown knowledge. Okay, now the next one I'm going to do showing you how to add a screenshot and the non overlapping editors or non overlapping occlusions. Simply take a screenshot of whatever you like. And you can do this with the editor um, already open, as I have. 
or you can do it for the first time entering into the editor. So here, well actually, so here's Snagit. By clicking copy it uh, all, I just put it into the clipboard. So once you have an image in the clipboard, simply click image occlusion again, and you'll notice that the editor now has come up with the image from the clipboard. It does clear the clipboard. And here's the title, and we'll call this non-overlapping. And both the title and the footer. And I will change the deck to non-overlapping. Select the rectangle to begin including the labels. These things have something to do with acne. I'm not really sure yet, but anyways, there we have it. These squares are not overlapping, and by clicking them, we will generate non-overlapping cards to study from. Click 10 notes were added. Pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and show you what those look like here. So these are non-overlapping, and as you can see, none of the labels are shown, and this is the way I prefer to look at it. Um, I'm not getting any hints on anything in the future. I still have the arrows there. I, I should be able to figure out what goes in these blanks. And there's the answer. Next one. Header, footer. Here's the mask. Red default. And all the other ones are uh, covered up with white. And there you have it. This is what it looks like with non-overlapping occlusions. Pretty easy. Eyes, again, benefits are, are awesome. Eyes drawn to this. Answer, eyes drawn to that. Creating, the, creating all these cards was easy. And uh, that's about it. Simple as that. All right, so that was the basics. Thank you for listening, and in the future uh, future videos, I'll show you how to do some more uh, advanced features and uh, features and, and with image occlusion add-on 2.0.